President Biden reportedly lashing out at his staff over the criminal investigation into his son. Should be an interesting Christmas for the family. Brooke Singman is here with what's going on in the West Wing. Hi, Brooke. Hey, guys, that's right. Political reporting, quote, the 81-year-old president is deeply sensitive about his son and has barked at White House aides who have mused about Hunter Biden as an electoral liability or those who wondered if he should be accompanying the president on the road. Many aides now choose to avoid the subject for fear of triggering the president's temper. And those close to Biden worry Hunter's legal battles could cost him his reelection bid. A close aide telling Politico, quote, you can see it in his eyes and you can see his shoulders slump. He is so worried about Hunter and we are worried it could consume him. Hunter Biden is facing nine new tax charges in California. Those charges came out of special counsel David Weiss's probe. This while his legal team is trying to dismiss those federal gun charges in Delaware. And now he could even be held in contempt of Congress. Hunter ignored a subpoena to testify at the House Oversight Committee earlier this week. Instead, he held a press conference on Capitol Hill where he called the House impeachment inquiry a baseless sham while the deposition room stayed completely empty. And Hunter's strategy is apparently causing tension in the White House. Quote, top aides to President Biden originally crafted a plan to largely not respond to attacks and conservative media coverage, but Hunter's team ultimately was not satisfied. Meanwhile, the Biden administration denies the president had any involvement in his family's foreign business deals. White House Press Secretary Karine Jean-Pierre snapping at reporters yesterday. Watch this. You can ask me about engagement and what the president has done with his family in conversation, but there's no evidence. There's, wait, wait, but there's no evidence. There is no evidence that the president has done wrongdoing. There's none, absolutely none. But some lawmakers say the president can't jump in to save his son this time. Do you have any concerns about any of Joe Biden's actions to help his son? Well, on that, basically, here's the rule of law pertains to all of us. Okay? No one's above the law. President uh, Biden's not above the law. President Trump's not above the law. His children, whether it be Biden or anybody else, let it go through the process. I believe in the judicial system we have. I defend it and I support it. Yeah, guys, so it has become increasingly hard for the White House to defend Hunter. He faces an ongoing criminal investigation and a wave of legal issues. So we'll see what happens he there. He certainly does. Brooke Singman live for us in studio. Brooke, thank you so much. Let's bring in Fox News contributor, columnist for The Messenger, Joe Concha. Joe, good morning to you. So you just heard Brooke mention that it's becoming increasingly hard for the White House to defend Hunter Biden. Joe Biden as well, for that matter. Take a listen to this moment on CNN, uh, where a host read a long list of evidence linking Joe Biden to the Biden family business. He did so to, while interviewing White House spokesman Ian Sam. Watch this. Speaker Mike Johnson in a USA Today opinion piece laid out what he said were the accusations that they are currently pursuing. They include from 2014 to 2019, Biden family members and affiliates have more than $15 million from foreign entities. Payments to President Biden from Hunter Biden's business account. Do you dispute all of those just outright? Not only do I dispute those outright, they've been debunked time and time again. They're just making up lies to attack the president in a relentless smear campaign that frankly has been going on for four straight years now. Do you dispute all of those just outright is the quote that is catching some people's attention. And then also you hear Ian Sams say that all of this is a lie. And I am wondering where the White House is getting that from, where this evidence in writing or from congressional testimony is a lie. Uh, if you looked up, Carly, the definition of insecure and or defensive in the dictionary, to your point, uh, Ian Sams's photo should be sitting next to both. I mean, here you have a CNN host, Phil Mattingly, refreshingly pressing Sams on the clear lie his boss, Joe Biden, has been caught in after Joe said to Peter Ducey and multiple times that he never talked to his son about his business dealings. And Sams, there he is on national television, still insisting that it never happened. And and the fact is, and these are facts, that not only did Joe Biden talk to his son about his dealings, he also talked to his son's business associates on at least 22 occasions by phone and at dinners in Georgetown while he was vice president. This is indisputable because Hunter Biden's primary business partner, Devin Archer, literally testified that it happened. So this is an opinion. This isn't lies being spread by Republicans. This is what Hunter's business partners have said happened. And again, the questions remain the same. 
same. What service did Hunter Biden provide to all these energy companies in places from China, Ukraine, Kazakhstan, Russia, to be compensated in the manner he was to the tune of millions? Why were all these shell companies created to funnel money back to multiple members of the Biden family? What were they being paid for and why? And if Hunter's last name isn't Biden and he didn't have access to a sitting vice president, his father, does he ever get hired? Is he even paid one dime? There are still many more questions and answers right now, Carly and Todd. And this is what this inquiry is all about, to get to the bottom of all these questions. And, and while Phil Mattingly may lose his privileges of going to cocktail parties because he dared question the Democratic establishment, <laughs> it's good to see that other people in the media are still holding the line for the Dems. <laughs> New York Times leaving out a key word when reporting on Hunter Biden's presser. The Times originally included this quote from Hunter saying, let me state as clearly as I can, my father was not involved in my business, except for the fact that that's not what Hunter said. It was updated a few hours later to correct it and say, let me state as clearly as I can, my father was not financially involved in my business. Joe, that does not happen by mistake. Yeah. That is a very, very, very key word, financially, right? That was left out. It's not just some intern didn't transcribe what Hunter said properly. And in the New York Times, they do this time and again. It is called a stealth edit, where once they're caught, and thank goodness there are places like X where people pointed this out very quickly, that financially was left out of that key quote. They're called out on it, and they go in, and they change it without an editor's note, without an apology, acting as if it didn't happen, except, uh, you know, film is forever, screenshots are forever, and therefore, uh, they've been caught once again, the New York Times, the same paper that has not endorsed a GOP presidential candidate in 67 years. So we're pretty sure what team uh, they're on the side of at this point, Carly. And it goes beyond that. There's a report in Politico that Hunter's scared he's going to have to flee the country if Trump gets elected. Yeah. Again, playing into that whole notion, dictator Trump. Trump is going to root out his political yeah, enemies and put everybody in jail. It, 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 it's, it's all part of this notion yeah. of trying to win through the media that Democrats play that game. Yeah. And uh, Joe Conch is wise to it. He sure is. He's wise to many things. Thank you, Joe. Happy weekend. Oh, happy weekend. We started yesterday at the Fox and Friends party. I saw and you Carly, there. you were missed. He that that I do know. I yes, I saw I you. Was there. Was. There, will be, there will be one next year, and that one I will attend. You better. Yeah. Mark the Todd date just left on an hour calendar. ago from what I heard. Yeah, stop it. Stop it. we got to get to football, Joe. Something you're familiar with as well. <laughs> I'm Steve Ducey. I'm Brian Kilney. And I'm Ainsley Earhart. And click here to subscribe to the Fox News YouTube page to catch our hottest interviews and most compelling analysis.